Hello, everyone. It is a pleasure to meet you. I am Sang Kyun Kim. As was introduced, it is a pleasure to meet you. And I am here standing at an empty studio. So I waved uh, because I wanted to feel connected with those who are watching. And uh, as a metaverse researcher, I am living in a city. And I want to talk about how metaverse can fill the void and gaps that I feel exist in our current cities. Uh, so you you will see two brains. Which brain is or skull is closer to the one? Uh, your skull. Some will be on the left, but I think most are on the right. And on the left is a Homo sapiens skull. And the skull is larger and uh, it has a larger jaw, and uh, that is the skull of the Neanderthalian who uh, competed with the Homo sapiens. I'm not an anthropologist, but I heard that the difference of these two species was that uh, they were smarter than us and uh, they were bigger than us. So compared to a modern man, uh, they were like a football player, for example, and they're stronger. And we survived, however, the Homo sapiens survived. Why did we survive? There were commonalities of these two species. Um, and in order to uh, compete in the wildlife, uh, they let lived together, they created a community. But in the method of living together, the Homo sapiens was able to survive, but the Neanderthalian did not survive, and that was because of reasons that we see uh, and uh, some factors that we can uh, see in our urban society. So. What led to their demise and uh, what do we need to uh, avoid to prevent uh, the uh, destiny of the Neanderthalians? So can a city and, uh, overcome all um, of our problems? We have three areas that we need to overcome. We have a city where we have public transportation and big medical centers. If we share these infrastructure, we can uh, share with others, and it leads to improvement, such as the subway. You cannot buy your own subway. Personal subways cannot exist. Uh, but there are many areas where we don't want to share in our urban societies and in the city. Many people say they enjoy living in a city because there is a lot of infrastructure that you can share. And the second, it's about connection. Those living in Seoul, there are densely populated areas where people live in multiplexes, and 70% of city dwellers live in these multiplexes, and we are living in a very dense um, area, not only in Seoul, but in other cities too. However, because we live in cities, are we uh, fully connected? or do we feel lonely? And uh, the third part is about this. Although we live in a city, we uh, yearn for the past and we are curious about the future. And although we live in the city, sometimes we want to go to the mountains or we dream of going to the uh, sea. So we want to expand. So sharing, connecting, and expanding. Metaverse can provide a partial solution to these three needs. Then what is Metaverse? Verse. Meta is going beyond, and verse is the world. So it is a world or a space that goes beyond. Therefore, it is a new digital world that can expand our physical world. Social media that you use in your daily lives and games are also a part of the metaverse. Uh, but it goes beyond uh, leisure and uh, um, interesting parts of our lives. And if we look at uh, metaverse in this way, we can uh, solve uh, the three issues in our urban cities, which is the which is sharing, connecting, and expanding. First, uh, on sharing. I am teaching at a university in Chuncheon, and uh, there are some students from Gangwon province, but those from Seoul. And uh, 
we see some students who have jobs and who have run their own businesses. Those uh, that uh, commute from Seoul, I ask my students, uh, are you able to um, cook? And uh, one of the students said that uh, he uh, is working in Seoul, but he has a room um, in Chuncheon area, but uh, the room doesn't have a kitchen, and uh, he is sharing a bathroom. And he was saying that uh, when he was living at Chuncheon, the housing and accommodation was cheaper. And so when he was living near the uh, university, he had a kitchen uh, that he shared with others and to cook meals there. And uh, in uh, a city, if you can own everything on your own, it will be great. But in the future, we may need to share more space. Uh, we need ways and methods to share certain spaces. There has to be a uh, platform or a way for us to share, and uh, one way to do that is through Metaverse, and uh, uh, Metaverse can provide more information that enables this. And second, Metaverse itself can become an object that is shared. What you see in the bottom, it's a space looking like a big rooftop, and uh, there is a uh, fireplace uh, in the middle, and there is a performance area, and you can see the um, city's landscape, and uh, I am there in the middle, but I am not using this space. Uh, all by myself. I share this space on a platform. I can uh, invite students here, and sometimes we have discussions here instead of via Zoom. And if you go near the fireplace there, you can hear the sound of a fire and wood crackling. And uh, it's important to, to share offline space, but metaverse spaces, they are owned by companies and platforms, and uh, on a city on a, a city level, uh, you may think about uh, what types of spaces are needed by citizens, and you can do, uh, provide easier access and sharing of such metaverse uh, spaces provided by the city itself. Next, it is about connection. At school, I teach a lot of classes. I am in the Department of Industrial Engineering, and there are many courses there. And one class is on entrepreneurship. And a couple of years ago, one student talked about, proposed to me an interesting business idea. There is a city, a neighborhood there, and if you turn on the application, uh, then you can see your house and you can see houses around your own house in the neighborhood. And I asked, what do you want to show here? And uh, the student uh, said that uh, you can light a candle through this lab application. And I asked what this is. And uh, he said that uh, he was lonely when he was studying as a high school student, and that was because there are many classmates, and uh, you can't speak to them during class, and when you go back home, uh, you are busy doing other things, and you can't meet with your classmates. But one day, on the elevator going back up home, he saw other high school students, and they had like, workbooks, um, and he saw that they were uh, high school students. And he saw that the other student had a lot of math-related workbooks and thought that this student must um, have difficulty studying math. And uh, these students studying can uh, light a candle. And you can see that on a map. And when you're studying at 1 a.m. or 12, you can see, you don't know the exact location, but another candle being lit. And if you press the uh, candle, you can see what they're studying or their concerns. They can jot down uh, some concerns or what they want to learn and their area of interest. And uh, I asked, what value does this create? And uh, he said that uh, it 
Sometimes you feel that you're the only one doing something, but when you get that sense that someone else is working on the same thing, then you feel your heart being warmed. This application has not been developed yet, but I saw a similar app last year, on, and it's an application that I installed on my smartphone. I like to buy new things, and to not be criticized by others, I would like sell the used Um, goods, and I would use this um, application that can, that where you can sell second-hand goods. And uh, there was uh, a map that shows you the location uh, where uh, people are selling um, snacks, uh, and uh, those living in the same ma- neighborhood uh, by uh, showing the location of certain snacks being sold, like uh, you, you can s- feel that other people are interested in the same snacks, and um, and I was wondering who uploaded this, and it might have been someone uh, that uh, lives in the same apartment uh, building as I do. And uh, another connection is more in-depth. It uh, can uh, connect to emotions. Cognitive researchers uh, talk uh, about 27 to 30 emotions that you feel, and uh, when I was re- and when I research and uh, I uh, carry out experiments, I see that uh, we divide these emotions into 20 some emotions. However, I ask myself, uh, do I? fully understand the emotions, not in 20 categories, but at least five categories of those who live near me, around me. And so what you see here is a a delivery man who was eating cake on a street and crying. And it was in the city of Wuhan uh, in China. It was where they had uh, COVID cases. And... uh, There were these delivery men who were working harder during those uh, times, and uh, they were uh, delivering uh, goods. uh, And uh, one day, one person gave a present to the delivery man, and it was a small cake. It was out of gratitude to the delivery person, and uh, that day was, uh, on coincidence, his birthday. And uh, so it was a birthday that uh, others did not remember, but uh, um, a person uh, that was a customer uh, remembered his birthday, gave him a cake, and so he was shedding tears because of this. And uh, I live in an apartment complex in Seoul, and uh, I read these types of articles that The uh, uh, residents of a uh, apartment complex uh, do not allow people to come into delivery men to to take bring their cars into the apartment complex. And to those living in that apartment complex, it's, it's not because they're bad people that uh, they prohibit uh, these delivery men to come in. Uh, they, it's because they don't uh, really feel and empathize and experience the feelings of uh, these delivery men, and uh, they are not able to uh, feel the emotions that they do. And uh, I. Um, asked a logistics company to create a, a avatar, a persona of a delivery man and to put it on to social media and to, uh, this um, avatar shares one's daily experience on this social media. And uh, by doing so, in our cities, we can uh, uh, feel and uh, see those who provide these services, who are hidden behind the applications, who are hidden behind the platforms, and we can uh, empathize with the emotions of these people who provide these services. And uh, next I wrote uh, connecting with five people. I am uh, more interested in connecting. That's why I am focusing my talk on uh, connecting. I don't know if you've heard of uh, Dumba. And uh, you might have heard the number of Dumba on Instagram or Facebook. You 
are connected with the friends and uh, I had 4,500 friends and uh, about 5,000 followers. So I uh, saw that I am connected with uh, 10,000 people. And offline, I uh, meet someone that I've never seen before uh, offline, but I feel I realize that they are a uh, Facebook friend of mine. And uh, there are limitations to a person's memory. And uh, they say that uh, you need people that are very close to you. And how many do you, people do you need uh, that are close to you? They say you need 34 people. And uh, your inner circle should be 15. And uh, really close friends of yourself that uh, you can speak your heart out should be five, are around five people. And this uh, number has been defined by Dumba. And that's why it's called uh, the number of Dumba. And uh, one phenomena that I could not understand in city life, it was about a feeling of loneliness and isolation. There are so many people living in the city, yet why do you feel lonely and isolated? As soon as you open your door, uh, you have people that you can meet. Uh, but people are feeling lonely. It's not because you don't have 10,000 people that are your friends, but it's because you don't have that close uh, number of people, five. So we see that there is a weakening of uh, connections with the people in the daily lives. Therefore, I think that a metaverse uh, can provide connection, especially to those who cannot be connected due to various reasons. And the metaverse can enable connection not with 10,000 people, but with those close five people. And the metaverse can provide uh, such connections. And uh, next, uh, I uh, provide. I prepared an interesting video into 2021. Sometimes you like to go to a city because it feels like a city of the past. I remember when I was a childhood, but uh, another part of a city, you like it because uh, it feels like a city in the future. So you are living in the, the current, but to. Uh, Humans are greedy. They want to experience the past and the future at the same time. It will be difficult, but technology lets us experience both the past and the future. This is a video of using virtual reality in Rome to show the past and the current in the same space. So a big change that we're going to experience in the next five years, it's the smartphones that we have in our hands. Uh, I want to talk talk about one thing that it will happen. It will become glasses, AR glasses, uh, that it's going to replace our smartphones. And if such devices become universal, when you go to a city, you can see how it was in the past. And you can also see the future of the city, not in speeches or in blueprints. You will be able to understand how the city will become in the future. Uh, through such classes, and uh, you can go beyond uh, time. So another axis is expansion of space. While researching Metaverse, I research a lot of material, and uh, one thing that warmed my heart was what you see on the uh, video right now. It is a location in Singapore. It's 29 degrees, and uh, it's always this hot uh, year around. And what you see right now, it's uh, the opposite uh, place in the globe. It's uh, in Finland, and uh, there is a red uh, machine, like a vending machine. And uh, those in Finland, you will have a shovel. And if you have a shovel, you want to put ice or snow there. And if you put that ice or snow there, it will rain. It will snow. Uh, obviously, it's not from Finland. It is artificial snow. But by connecting these two different spaces, uh, it gives a smile to those on the opposite part of the world. And uh, our cities that we live, if 
what would it be if we can connect with the places in other cities and other locations? You can connect with the city overseas, share one's culture, dream of connecting with these other places. And if Seoul uses metaverse technology, we can expand our uh, physical space to these other areas. I talked about sharing, connecting, and expanding. How far can the meta first enable this? I will have to research more into this area, and we will have to try more attempts and trials. But it is true that, and we should not forget that our roots are still in this physical world. We have our feet on this real world, but to uh, make more value and expand our world, that can be found in Metaverse. And so that is the world that I am dreaming. Using Metaverse, I hope that Seoul City can be more connected, expanded, and enables more sharing. I am Sang-Gyun Kim. Thank you.